Hey everybody, it's Why Are You Reading My Name here, and this is my utter failure at Dust and Elysian Tale. Uh, go around here. Uh, last time we saved some kid from horrible, horrible fate of laundry duty, and this time we're gonna find something else to do. Uh, da -da -da. All right, go find the redhead. Uh, it's kind of horrible that her name is Ooh. Quest. Oh, Dust. We are indebted to you for what you've done for us. Gian and I are just going to rest for a bit here in Aurora. Actually, maybe you could hmm. speak with him. He would never admit it to me, but I just know something is troubling him. Of course. Where is he now? He's been pacing near the west entrance of the village, near the field where you rescued us. Thank you, Dust, for everything. Alright, that's, uh, <clears throat> that's actually the old woman that we rescued at the beginning of the game. And... I don't get it! Why would anyone want to help those awful lizard things? That fuse guy burned down an entire village! Don't you understand, Fidget? He wasn't born that way. General Gaius and his soldiers turned him into that monster. And Fuse is likely not the only one corrupted by General Gaius' hatred of the Moonbloods. We should speak to Ginger again to learn more about this conflict. Anyway, that was the old woman from the beginning of the game, and Gian is like her husband. We saved him from oh, horrible trolls. You again. Mayor Bran said you'd left already. Yes, he asked us to stop the leader of these monsters. Turns out it was a moonblood named Fuse. He'd gone completely insane. Fuse? Oh no. He was leading those monsters? You killed him? So you know him then? Was he always a homicidal pyromaniac? What? No, never! Why did you kill him? He destroyed Denim Village, Ginger, and slaughtered dozens of innocent people. He refused to listen to reason and planned to attack Aurora next. I had to stop him. This war is turning all of us into monsters. Thank you, Ben, for releasing Fuse from his madness. Right before the end, he seems lucid. He told me a few things before he passed. He tried to tell me about the war, about your family. He was there the day my family was killed, yes. He was picking up supplies to bring back to his people. General Gaius attacked her village, burned it to the ground. I thought Fuse had been killed. Now I wish he had. I'm sorry. And why is that? The last time I saw an outfit like yours was the day my family was murdered. That outfit, it belongs to Gaius' soldiers. Who are you, really? I don't know. That is not an answer! Hey, ease off! Dust can't remember, okay? He doesn't even know his real name! You know, you should be more thankful. He just saved this village twice and I... Well, I watched him do it. And I'm also really hungry! Fidget, please oh, calm down. Go. She's right to be suspicious. I don't know who I am, but I'm dressed as one of Gaius' soldiers. And that can't be good. Perhaps. But your friend is right. You saved my village twice today. Guys and the soldiers would never do that, especially if they knew I was here. Well, let's get some more information. Why is Guy so obsessed with killing these Moonbloods? What do they do? Nothing. They exist. General Gaius sees them as an impurity, a kind of cosmic mistake that he believes must be wiped from this world. I've tried to help where I can, but it's hard. There aren't many Moonbloods left outside of their homeland. And it's only a matter of time before Gaius wipes them out entirely. Is there anything I can do to help? If only one man could stand against an army. Sadly, no. There's nothing any of us can do. Any hope for the Moonbloods died with my family. Mayor Bram mentioned you were leaving town. Yes. The rivers and streams around Aurora are beginning to dry up completely. Without water, the only thing to do is head north. It's only a matter of time before the others follow me. Why would the rivers all be drying up? It's not like it's been very hot. And wasn't there a big rainstorm a little while ago? I know, it doesn't make any sense. To be honest, I think this whole country is cursed. General Gaius is bloodless to scorch this land forever. I doubt we'll ever recover. Why exactly is her family the only ones that could have helped? Why doesn't it let us ask of that? 
If the only way to stop this war is to stop General Gaius, then I need to know where to find him. This campaign continues to the north. If you want to help right the wrongs of your kind, you're free to join me. I'm afraid. Drama, drama. Whoa! What was that? It came from the center of the village. What? What are these things? Monsters! Ginger, get down! <laughs> <laughs> the last of them. Ginger, are you okay? I'm... I'll be fine. You should go down below and find out what's happening. Alright. You shouldn't stay here, Ginger. It's too dangerous. Head north. We'll catch up with you after we've gotten to the bottom of this. Stay safe, Dust. We'll meet again at Rhone Pass, at the foot of the Blackmore Mountains. Are you psychic? Stay safe, Dust. We'll meet again at Rhone Pass, at the foot of the Blackmore Mountains. One begins to wonder if she's psychic or just assuming that we'll meet again at Rowan Pass. <laughs> dun dun dun. Ooh. Oh, we've been attacked! Has the box been open? Oh. Okay. That depends. Did your box have a lot of flying monsters inside it? How would I know? I've never opened the box. Never. Ever. Except. Except once. I think it's what made me this way. Maybe. Okay, well, I doubt your box had anything to do with this, Reed. Still, I'll keep my eyes open. That makes me sad. Makes me just a little bit sad for that guy. Whoa! <laughs> well now, would you look at this! Seems our village has got itself a new basement! You don't seem too concerned. Trust me, not much happens here. So when things start crawling out of the ground, you pull up a chair and enjoy the show. Okay, Austin, but promise me that you'll stay about here. That. I don't need anyone getting hurt. Bah! I'll let you have all the fun? Well, I guess you're the one with the sword, after all. Okay, does he remind anybody else of Monty from the Rescue Rangers? Please tell me I'm not the only one who remembers Monty from the Rescue Rangers. The weird mouse with a cheese fetish and an Australian accent. Ooh, scurrying. These flags are a warning. The area up ahead is among the most dangerous of places. The challenges and creatures within are unlike anything you've dealt with before. Death will come swiftly if you are not prepared. I think I've heard of these arenas. It's rumored they contain precious treasures. Hey, your memory's coming back. Just little bits here and there. Think we should go in? Oh, um, I certainly hope you see. Okay, I'm gonna chicken out right now, because, um, well, I'm a chicken. So. Ooh! Save. Well, I guess we'll go ahead and do it, since there's a save point so conveniently located right here. All right, we'll give this a go. Um, welcome to the challenge arena. Defeat a mini, destroy lamps for points. You'll lose points by taking damage. Okie dokie. Oh, what the hell is that thing? Oh my gosh, my phone is going off. Well, that was very ineffective. Okay, so need to change her little tabby thingy back. Um, oh, I have a level up. What the heck? What should we level up? <clears throat> Defense or health? Defense or health? Uh, go with health. Seems more efficient. Uh, let's see. Ah. Uh, Wee.
got it. Um. Ow. Oh my god, that was horrendously bad. Alright, I don't want to use my revive stone on this stupid dungeon, so I'm just going to reload that. That was so horribly bad. That was embarrassing. We're just going to pretend like that didn't happen. <laughs> and moving on. So, there is nothing to the left. End of the line. Looks like a pretty nasty drop. <clears throat> yes, very nasty. We should go around, I think. There's no time to find another route. Those monsters came up through here. There's got to be a path down below. Well, here goes nothing. Geronimo! Oh god. I'm skirt. Well. That is very annoying. You need to calm down. I thought you said you weren't afraid of the dark. I'm not afraid of the dark. I'm afraid of the things in the dark. <laughs> I don't see anything. Oh, Fidget. that's classic. How could you possibly see anything in here with that big hat over your eyes? Oh. It keeps our climb isn't meant to be underground. Mm. We should be soaring high in the wide open sky. I thought you were afraid of heights. Oh, hush. <laughs> Uh, comedic, comedic value. I'd say eight out of ten. What the? Did he just shoot? That was rude. Throwing stuff at me. Ooh, chapter two. Darkness. I really wish, like somebody like Kyle Hebert or Eric Bra or something were just over this reading the place names and chapter names just some really good announcer voice that would be awesome right. uh, by the way if you don't know who Kyle Hebert is he is uh, Gohan basically He's the guy who did Gohan from Dragon Ball Z. He also did the announcer voice, like the narrator voice from Dragon Ball Z. The next time on Dragon Ball Z, or whatever. That was him. What is this? Oh, got hit. You've been poisoned. When you're poisoned, your life slowly drains down to nothing. If you don't take care of it soon, death is inevitable. I can probably just wait it out. Stop pretending you're so tough! Here, take this mushroom. It'll stop the poison for now. You can thank me later. Oh. Oh, better use a blue mushroom. Okay, that was, uh... That was odd. To say the least, and pretty unfortunate. What is that? Looks much better than it tastes, and it looks pretty terrible. Oh. Alright, anyway. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Rude. Anyway, um. Kyle Hebert is the narrator from Dragon Ball Z. He was the voice of Gohan. I think he's also been in stuff like Digimon and whatnot. It's getting really hard to see. Right. I'm starting to regret coming down here. <laughs> I was regretting it minutes <laughs> ago. I just think it'd be really cool if like the individual chapters and stuff just had that amazing announcer voice. Ooh, it's all shiny. Oh, wow. 
kind of pretty. This is beautiful. Do you think the villagers know about this place? Oh god. What? Our search has not been in vain. Let's clear this area. Can I ever just, like, avoid killing everything? Like, I feel bad. I'm basically committing genocide here. I'm a horrible, horrible person. Genocide, no problem. Walk out of range of my short, stubby little sword. Die! Right. Oh god. He wants my body. He's gonna eat me. No, don't eat me! Death from above. And oddly, all that fire and no one got roasted. That should be a status effect in video games. Roasted. Then you can eat them for health. So that's not creepy at all. I wonder what a monster would taste like. Ooh. Oh. Like, I mean... If you play a game like Final Fantasy or whatever, they've got the big monsters that look like... chickens and crap like that. Why can't you just roast those and eat them? It, it seems legit. Got a warm pretzel. Woo. Alrighty. The art in this game, I swear, dude. Ah, sucks. I know it's there. Oh, I can't reach it. <laughs> I'm so sad. Last try. There it is. I'm awesome. Geronimo. Oh, hello. Alright. These things just ri remind me of the old show Attack of the Killer Tomatoes or whatever. Just round blob. You'll. Oh, crap round blobules with a mouth. Uh, crap, my god. Okay. An oddly pointless set of platforms. Oh, I went over there. This has been a complete waste of time. Alright. So, came down here. And can't do anything. Okay, so I got nothing now. Guess I'll just go back to the surface. Let's see. Find my way back out of this cave and hopefully avoid getting poisoned again. Oh my gosh. There he is. 
Okay, well, I got nothing, guys. Can't figure it out. So... I guess I'll just go back to the surface. Oh, God. How is he not dead? I mean, really. Alright, just gonna go back to the surface because I uh, can't figure it out. Apparently, I do not have the equipment required to. Mostly the slide dash. Because I can't get under that uh, little barrier thing. Uh, out of energy. So I'm gonna have to find some way to slide under those little uh, compartments and you know not not suck out loud basically. All right, head back to the village. I'll save and um, yeah, there's that horrible failure. Probably do another video here soon because this one was. Well, less than impressive to be nice to myself. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you all guys. See you guys next time. All right.